Can I read a book to you? Okay, right this way. Hi, welcome to Horror Addicts. I'm Gory B. Movie, and with me today is Lols. Today, we have a special treat for you. We're gonna do Gory Story Time! Yay! Clap, kid. Yay! Now, I had a special book all set up for today. Coming of Age Story about a boy and his dog, and another boy and his mom. It was gonna be thrilling, exciting. Children everywhere would have loved it. But no, Dan says we can't read Cujo. So instead, as he promised in our last video, we will be reading Amazing Amy Tattletale, book featured in Gone Girl. Oh yay. Okay, so we got a kid, got a plump nanny, Dustin, a grandfather clock, so Amy's pretty loaded. She's got this dog puddles, and there's a broken vase, so foreshadowing. All right. Yay! Amazing Amy by Rand and Mary Beth Elliott, Ph.D. Two psychologists who are parents just like you. Well, guess what, Mary Beth and Rand? I'm not a psychologist. Booyah. <laughs> Ooh, there's a dedication. That's when somebody dedicates a book to somebody very special to them. Let's read it. To our most darling Amy, light of our lives, you're the reason because of our examples, so uh, who cares? Okay, you ready to get started? Yeah! So yeah. <laughs> How exciting! Another beautiful day! And who knows what adventures there may be? Amy couldn't wait to get to school. Sorry, Puddles, there's no time to play. Oh, uh, yay! Looks like Puddles is playing anyway. Mmm, Puddles is a rebel. I like Puddles. Amy knew she couldn't be late for school. She wanted to win another perfect attendance award for her parents. She had to hurry. Amy never missed the bus. Nerd. Oh no! Mother's favorite vase! Oh, Amy broke a vase. Brat. What's she doing bringing a purse to school? What kind of school is this? <laughs> Oh dear, Amy knew that it would just wasn't right for Doris the housekeeper, I feel like we missed some plot points there, oh well, for Doris the housekeeper to take the blame for the accident. <laughs> accident. But what would her parents say? Amy did not want to disappoint them. What a terrible way to start the day. But the school bus was waiting, so yeah, I'll just let the nanny take the rap and let her get fired. Uh-huh. Good lessons there, amazing Amy. Amy couldn't get the image of her parents scolding Doris out of her head. How could she spend the entire day at school wondering if she had been wrong? Newsflash, Amy, that was wrong. Today was the day of the big test. Amy had so much on her mind. There are a lot of exclamation points in this story. With a deep breath, she knew it was just one of those days when she had to try so very hard to be amazing Amy. She's not a flippin' superhero. <laughs> Okay, so dramatic shot of Amy entering her very large elementary school. Rich parents. Oh, here you go, Bo. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, that's enough. Kids. First was the big test. Amy had practiced all week. Teacher would be so impressed. Suck up. Was <laughs> Danny trying to copy her paper? It wasn't fair that Amy had worked so hard studying while Danny goofed off instead. Story of my life. He should not take the credit for her work. Dude, he even looks like Danny Nightmare. Look at that. Thank goodness the test was over. It was wrong for Danny to copy her work. But if she spoke up and Danny got in trouble, what would everyone think? That Danny was a rebel? She would not get invited to any birthday parties. Of course she will. She's a rich kid. That's how you get the best presents. Notes. No one would choose her for their team in gym class. Amy was always picked first. At least she got to see Mr. Turtle in her next class. Mr. Turtle was hungry. It was Brian's day to feed him, but Amy didn't mind. Everyone deserved a turn. Wait, that was way too much food to give Mr. Turtle. Brian should know better. Amy decided to ask her friend to stop. Brian seemed upset by her vice, because she's a bossy little kid. She didn't mean to make him mad. She just wanted to help. Pfft, whatever. 
Turtles gotta eat! <laughs> Amy was still thinking about Doris, Danny, and now Brian, when her classmate Joanne confronted her in the hall. Amy did not understand why Joanne always seemed to dislike Amy, because Amy's a brat. Amy wanted to be liked by everyone. Joanne said to Amy, if you tell on Brian, everyone will know. You're just jealous because it wasn't your day to feed Mr. Turtle. Why would anyone be mad at her for telling the truth? Why didn't she tell the truth at the beginning of the book? Maybe Amy should ask Susie what she thinks she should do. Oh, Susie's a nerd. She's got glasses. I bet she does know. Susie was a good friend to Amy and always shared her dessert at lunch. But she seemed afraid of the other kids. Well, she's friends with Amy. If you saw the Gone Girl in the movie, you would know what you need to be afraid. Susie looked worried. She suggested Amy not tell on Brian because everyone might call her a tattletale. Amy didn't know what to do. She thought about what her classmates had said and how unfair they were being. She worried Brian would not speak to her. Danny would be mean to her. Joanne would say, I told you so. She got southern, sorry. <laughs> Susie looked up to Amy. Would she think less? Amazing Amy realized they all seemed to want her to do the wrong thing. And yet she had time to make these chalk drawings on the blackboard. Amy knew right from wrong, despite what her deceitful peers might think. There was only one thing to do. She would report to teacher what Danny, then Brian, had done. Teacher would be angry when Amy explained what they had all tried to bully her into doing. Then she would get home and she would tell her parents the truth about the vase. What a little tattletale. Kid ain't gonna have no friends. Of course, she was making the right decision. Even the principal stopped Amy on the way out of the door from school to praise her actions. Teacher's bad. He told the other kids that they could not ignore her in gym casts. They could not exclude her from their birthday parties because he can control that. <sighs> not every student would be brave enough to do as she did and they should admire her. Pfft. Amy's a jerk. Amy couldn't wait to get home and tell her parents how sorry she was. She was ready to accept responsibility for breaking the vase. She would let her parents know that Amy, amazing Amy, had the strength and the bravery to do what her peers could not, just like a grown-up. Stabbing people in the back is kind of grown-up. And look, even Puddles was happy to see her. Everything was going to be just fine, better than fine. With Puddles close at foot, Amy ran inside. Without hesitation, Amy told her parents the truth. Doris wasn't to blame. Puddles had broken the vase that morning while they had been playing. Oh yeah, blame the dog. Amy understood it was wrong to let the housekeeper take the blame, but disappointing her parents would be just as wrong. Then she told them all about her troublesome day at school. By the end, even her principal had praised her. Okay, there's picture. Poor Puddles. Puddles is going to go to the farm after this book. <sighs> oh, Amy. Her parents explained they could never be mad at her for doing the right thing. They were so proud Amy had shown what wonderful parents she had. Amy was so brave for facing down her fears and taking responsibility. There's an exclamation point, so responsibility. <laughs> Just like they had taught her. Barf. She had worried all day for nothing. Confronting her fear and telling the truth had proved that she had respected all day. Dot, dot, dot. When you know what's right in your heart, listen to your parents and tell adults the truth. You can never be wrong. And that was amazing. Just like Amy. Oh, that's over. My book was a turd. What did you think of the book? What do you think of Amy? Are you going to invite her to your birthday party? Okay, that was Cory's story time. Yay! Come back next time, kitties, and we'll read another fun-filled book. Yay! You're still here? I read this whole book, and you're still here. Okay, um, thanks, I guess. Hey, wait. Wait a second. You didn't hit subscribe or the like button. Do it now. Do it. I'm watching you. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're really just going to sit there with me staring at you and not hit like or subscribe or leave a comment. Oh, um, leave a comment letting me know which book you'd like me to read next time, okay? Are you doing it? Are you doing it? All right, cool. Thanks.